These are the Nakanai Mountains of New Britain, Papua New Guinea. National Geographic Young Explorers grantee Trip Jennings has come here with a team of kayakers and scientists to document this remote biological hotspot and to explore the Pandy River from its underground source all the way to the sea. This is the first known kayaking exploration of the island, and finding the source of the Pandy River isn't simple. The Pandy pours out from one of the world's largest river cave systems. In order to find the source of this river, the team must first go investigate the caves. It's been hard going. This jungle is steep, slippery, wet, and the cave I'm sure is going to be no different, but it's just going to be amazing. I think when we round this corner, it's going to be so good to just see a cave and get some sort of payoff for hours and hours and weeks of uh, searching, and here we are. Oh, wow. My whole body's tingling right now, pins and needles. I've been in some deep and long caves, but I've never been in an entrance this huge before. They must get past hundreds of feet of vertical descents and pools of unknown depths. After searching miles of caverns, the team finally reaches their goal, the underground source of the Pandy. Their next challenge is to navigate this amazing river. As the expedition loads up their kayaks, they hope that in documenting this expedition, the United Nations Environment Program will set aside this area for conservation. 18 annual feet of rainfall on the limestone of the Nakanai Mountains creates an active underwater river system with white water and massive waterfalls. The crew's work has paid off. The kayaking is phenomenal. Villagers known as the Coal join the adventurers to watch them kayak the first rapids. It's class five kayak in a vertical gorge. The only way out is down. There is no margin for error. Whatever, I don't know what's down there. The crew spends hours negotiating technical rope work portages with no way of knowing when the gorge will relent. Because at this point, going up and over through the jungle is going to take us a lot of time. We don't have a lot of daylight left, so we need to make some downstream progress. So we're really hoping for an all good. Thankfully, there is a line through the churning white water. But it's a difficult move over a powerful waterfall. Vertical gorges force the team to either portage at river level or commit to class five rapids that are testing their abilities. They must work together as a team to survive. We're in the middle of a huge section of white water, really steep gorge, and it's wall to wall here, very, very narrow canyon for a little bit. We don't know what's downstream. Looks like it may be good to go, so we're going to drop in and probe it and make sure, so here we go. After Andy runs the rapid, darkness divides the team. With two members forced to sleep above the 30-foot waterfall, the rest camp below. In the morning, the crew reunites and continues through more spectacular gorges filled with rapid runs and waterfalls. It's good to go, but there's a log on the right at the bottom, so make sure you run the left line. And you want to pencil in straight up and down and tuck forward hard, because it's every bit of 50 feet.
last few days are spent paddling the flats of the river, past beautiful scenery into the tranquil waters of the Pacific. They've completed a challenging kayaking expedition on New Britain and may have brought this stunning landscape one step closer to conservation. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.